incontinent and causing problems in the bed, we want them just to have a sheet underneath them. Those disposable little chucks pads are kind of plasticky. You put that underneath them, that's going to increase sweat. Even the laundering, you know, our chucks pad that we have that we launder, it still has that moisture retention. If they're, even if they're not incontinent, they're going to be in there. More layers underneath them, they're going to sweat. So always think about you want the least amount of layers underneath them. If the patient doesn't need help moving in bed, get rid of your draw sheet. You know, if they're not incontinent, get rid of any chucks pad, have just a sheet underneath them. Obviously, we have those other things for needs, and if we need those, put them in there, but the least amount possible underneath the patient. Another note for everybody, if your patient has a row hook cushion, it's completely ineffective to put anything, even a sheet, over it. So there's a cover that comes along with the row hook. That should be the only thing between your patient and their clothing. There should be nothing else. Otherwise, you eliminate the entire... Did you say what's a row cushion? <laughs> row cushions are like a specialized a wheelchair cushion. We will get them for some patients who have had ulcers. They are, they have little air filled, um, they have like these little air filled spots all over the cushion instead of being one air filled cushion and then it pressure relieves on them. So we have one in the acute care, the nursing home has a couple and then we might see some patients who come in with their own. Uh, we just want to make sure that there's nothing in between there because the more you build up there, the more that they're going to have some shearing forces in decrease the effectiveness of the problem. Yeah, they're, and they're super comfortable, but they're very expensive. <laughs> okay, so how to make a referral to wound care. Obviously, the clinic is different than these two. The clinic uh, physician is going to send over an outpatient physical therapy order. Um, and then usually they just put that in there. So the doctors are taking care of that. You guys are helping them. Um, that's just the same. That word is the exact same. Like if somebody sprains their ankle, just you're going to put the wound in there instead. For the nursing facility, I do have everything on here. You're going to uh, fill out your fact sheet to the doctor. I have a sample fact sheet on there. It's all going to be filled out. And then after you fill that out, go ahead and call our office. Um, notify me that a wound has been done. That way I can, if I have 15 minutes, I can come down there. Um, sometimes it takes a few days before the doctor gets that back and before it gets processed and sent down to me before I can see it. So if I have a call, if I have a voicemail, I can pop down much quicker than if I'm waiting for an order. In the case of inpatients, I also have that on here, you're going to place an order for physical therapy, eval, and treat inpatient. If you put in a wound consult order, that goes out into La La Land and nobody sees it. If you put in an additional treatment, we don't realize it's an additional treatment because we have two, of, we have four of those that pop up every single day for every inpatient. So it needs to be physical therapy, eval, and treat inpatient, just like you would if they're a brand new patient. And then there's a special instruction window that pops up and put that there's a wound. Um, if you do it any other way, we will not see it because we have no way to access any type of consult. The additional treatment gets lost a lot of times because we have so many and people think that it's the additional treatment that pot fires every day and they'll use that to document it. Also, if you're not sure, call me, leave a voicemail, and then I know that you so need it. So wound care, an order that we put in is physical therapy. Yep, the exact same as you would if you're doing an eval, yep. Even if we're already seeing them as an eval, it, will, it fires differently, that way I make sure that I see it. Okay. The only thing that we see that comes across our way is additional treatment inpatient or the eval and treat. And we get four additional treatments a day because it pops up today's and tomorrow's. And everybody uses those, so sometimes they don't get seen that there's a comment over there because it's kind of hidden and it might get documented on. So if it's an eval, the PTs are the only one that touch it and they usually say, why is there another eval for this patient? And they just say, probably won't. So, but if you're not sure, if you have any questions, just call that number. That's our main line, and then just leave a message. So there's just some references there. Um, any questions from anybody? Good? All right, I'll get everybody. I have to make a couple more copies of these. I'll get these copies to you guys. That way you guys have that quick reference on what to do initially. Other than that. Um, I think, yeah, do you guys have more they have to do?